I prepared a little demo server, which when you start it, it you can open it on localhost 3000 and it will show you a static knock knock joke. I've also added a test which starts the server in the background and looks for the words knock knock in the background. What we want is to show a random knock knock joke every time we reload the page. For that I prepared random knock knock with an index.js file, a test and a package JSON for npm. The first thing we do is we create a GitHub repository, here I use the hub CLI tool. And then I use the semantic release CLI to set up the release train. It will ask me a few questions and what it will do is it will create the hook and set up the Travis CI integration with my GitHub repository for me. The semantic release setup will create the Travis YAML file for me um, and together with all the other changes, I will commit them with a feature commit and then push everything to my GitHub repository. This will start the build on Travis and as you can see in the end, it will release version 1.0 of my module. So when I go to npm.js, I now see it. It will also create a tag on GitHub and the release with changelogs. All right, so now let's show a random joke in our knock knock server. So first I install the random knock knock module and add it to the package JSON file. Then I replace the static knock knock joke with a random one loaded from our module. Now a new random joke is shown every time I load the page. I commit all the changes with a feature commit message, push it to GitHub, which will then create and release a new version of knock knock server. Now that we have a dependency, let's automate the updates with Greenkeeper. If you don't have it yet, npm install it with dash dash global Greenkeeper. After you installed it, you have to run Greenkeeper login, but I already did both. So you only need to run Greenkeeper enable in your directory of your app. And then Greenkeeper will be enabled for your GitHub repository. Now let's release a new version for random knock knock and we simulate a new version with an empty commit message and I add the word breaking change um, so that a new major version will be released by semantic release. So once the version 2.0.0 is released, um, Greenkeeper will now create a new branch on knock knock server and it will also start a pull request. And in the pull request it will say that it started this pull request because the version 2.00 is out of the range 1.00 of the hat. It also will show you all the commits since the last release, so you can review it. It will start a continuous integration. And once all the tests pass, you can merge it in ideally with a fixed commit so that semantic release will create a new version. Now let's say there is another release of the random knock knock package. This time it is a fixed release. So you see here a new build is starting on Travis with the commit message fix colon much faster. So it's a fixed release and it will release version 2.0.1. Now let's see what's going to happen on our knock knock server repository. Greenkeeper will create um, a new branch, but there is no new pull request. That's because version 2.0.1 is within the range of head 200. Nevertheless, the new branch triggers a new build on Travis. And this time our tests will fail on our server. And whenever that happens, Greenkeeper will go and start a new pull request on your repository, warning you that an update of a dependency of yours actually broke your own application or module. And you want, don't want your users to be affected by that. So what you can do is you can actually work on Greenkeeper's pull request and change the version with the hat to a fixed version 2.00 so that um, users are, will never get the version 2.0.1 and then update the commit message to a fix so that a new version gets released for that. And the next time someone installs your knock knock server, they will not get the broken 201 version. And this commit message will again create a new um, release. After making sure that our users are not affected by the broken version of random knock knock, we have sent a pull request 
and fix the issue. And the, there is a fix commit which will trigger another build and release version 2.0.2. Because we fixed the version um, to 00 before, every new update is out of range. So there is a pull request for the 2.0.2 update. We can wait for the continuous integration to finish. And once everything is green, we can go in and update the pull request directly. We would add the head again so that in future all updates within the range of 2xx will be used automatically. And we use a fix commit, which will again trigger a build on Travis, which will release version 1.1.3. Thank you very much.